What's up everyone, how's it going? So the past three days, I have ripped up my entire studio that was in my house and spent $6,000 and redid my entire garage to make it an office space. Now this isn't gonna be a super in-depth room tour that I plan on doing in the next two, three videos. So if you aren't, it would be a fantastic time to get subscribed so you don't miss out on any of the content going on with this office. But we're just gonna do kind of a rough vlog style about everything that I did to get where I'm at today. And I've probably had over 30 different iterations of setup and this one by far takes the cake. I'll put up a few clips of what this office used to look like. And now, as you can tell, including the hexagon lights that I put up, it is way, way brighter. And right now the garage isn't too badly lit with all of my LEDs, but I added these hexagon light panels that I picked up on Amazon. And just for what I need, that extra bit of light I have. I mean, it illuminates this entire office like it's daytime. Now the garage floors were originally in a disastrous state. When I had my 1965 Mustang, it dumped all of its coolant and oil right here onto the ground. And I mean, it permanently stained it. I couldn't get it out. So I hired a company to come out and lay down this epoxy flake flooring. And after it cured for three, four days, this is so solid. You couldn't even scratch it if you tried to. Plus it kind of takes away from that industrial look of just having raw concrete. and adds a little bit of texture to the entire room. Plus once I pick up a vehicle and I haven't parked in here, if I spill oil, coolant, brake fluid, anything, all I have to do is wipe it up the towel and don't have to worry about it soaking into the concrete. So coming into my old office, one of the main things that I had to focus on is where I was going to store all of my tech. This closet in this bedroom right here was full jam packed to the top full of stuff that I'm still trying to sort through. So on the top of my list was getting something here in the garage that I could store everything in. This is the Husky nine piece storage set from Home Depot and it comes with everything. It comes with the solid butcher block top, all of the drawers with the black trim and then all of the inserts inside so you can actually stack stuff in it as well and super cool like up here on the drawers it does have the soft close so you don't have to worry about slamming it shut and then mounted right smack dab in the middle we have a 42 inch oled tv i guess you could call it a gaming monitor but it's basically a 4k oled 130 hertz tv that i've got connected to my apple tv 4k and then some nzxt relay speakers with a subwoofer back over here and this is nothing but just media consumption while i'm working having movies on in the background or just different streams up just to entertain while I'm working in the office. So this garage door is originally insulated, but I went ahead and added a half inch insulation foam board just to help cut down on sound and in the Texas heat help with some of that radiation heat. So we'll see how our brand new AC mini split does in the summertime. I threw up some acoustic panels to help with some of the echo as well. And then moving into the main setup, this wall was an absolute catastrophe and I wanted something to help break up this corner from having just a bunch of gray painted walls. So I got these wood panels from Wood Veneer Hub and there's actually acoustic backing on the back of the slats. That way there is some sound absorption, but on the front, it's just wooden panels. Then I have my same desk from the other setup that I just had to chop up and put into this L-shaped side. And realistically, everything else is the exact same as my other setup. The only new real additions is gonna be these new prints that I got. And a little hack if you're cheap like me, you can get all of these posters printed out at Walmart and they run monthly. 50% off poster prints. I think I paid $10 per poster. And then I got the frames from Walmart for like $5 a piece. So this four piece of wall art was only like 60 bucks said and done. So as I continue to modify and make changes to this office, you guys will be along for the ride with me. I think I want to do a racing and or flight sim over on that wall that you saw where the acoustic panels are on. Or I'm thinking about adding a couch with a drop down projector into the center where I could play Smash Brothers and chill. I mean, I'm open to a ton of different suggestions so leave a comment down below in the comment section on what you think I should do with that wall. I'm gonna let you guys decide that one. So stay tuned for the full in-depth room tour where I will go over everything in this room. And if there's anything specific that you want me to go into more detail on how I installed or where I got it from, leave a comment. I will be sure to go through every comment as best as possible and add it into that next video of the in-depth room tour. Thank you guys for watching this super messy, unorganized, unscripted video. I was just super excited to jump on here and show you guys this. Thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you guys on the next video.